Good evening, assalamu alaikum, and welcome back to the SEA Specimen Paper Series here at Sea Results Academy. We are number 14 of the mathematics paper currently, which reads, the model below is formed by stacking one centimeter cubes, calculate the volume of the model. So this model is comprised of some one centimeter cubes. As we can see, there are two layers here comprised of one, two, three, four, five, blocks right so that's going to give us 10 in total and there is one extra block here where the angle is in the sort of l shape all right so that's a total of 11 blocks so we have 11 blocks and we have to basically calculate the volume of the model or the volume can be broken up into um, 11 one centimeter cubes all right, so the volume of one cube will be equal to one times one times one, all right, which will give us one cubic centimeter. So that's the volume for one block. Therefore, we'll just have to multiply 11 by one, and we'll get a total volume of 11 cubic centimeters. And that will be our answer for this question. Okay, so here we are now on number 15. The second hand shown on the clock turned two right angles. What number did the second hand point to after the turn? So each quarter turn or each right angle will pass through one, two, three of the numbers on the face of the clock, right? So our first quarter turn will take us, we'll take the second hand to two. And the second quarter turn will take the second hand to five. So the number it's pointing to at the end of the two right angles or two quarter turns is five. Okay, guys, so we moved on here to number 16 now, which reads, which quadrilateral below has no right angles? Okay, so a quadrilateral is a four-sided closed figure. And we have four of them here. So the first one is a rectangle that has one, two, three, four right angles or 90 degree angles. Then we have figure B, which is a trapezium that has actually no right angles. This trapezium has no right angles. Then we have C, which is a square, right? All right angles, one, two, three, four. Um, then we have uh, Figure D, which is a right trapezium, right? So we have one, two right angles in this figure. So the figure having no right angles is therefore figure B. All right, number 17 says, name a solid that has five faces, one of which is a square. So that is actually going to be a square-based pyramid. All right, square base pyramid. So I'll see how best I can draw that here. Um, given my limitations here on the computer, right? So you basically, one face is going to be square at the base. And then we're going to have four triangular faces that meet here on top at this top vertex or apex of this square-based pyramid, all right? And we can easily count the number of faces. We have the one here underneath, then we have two, which is this one here on the side. We have three there in the back. We have four on the side opposite to two, and then we have a fifth face here at the front opposite to the face that's labeled three here. Okay, so this is a solid that has five faces, one of which is a square, and the answer is a square-based pyramid. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. We're done now with measurement and geometry in section one. And uh, before you go, I just invite you to listen to one small message from myself at the end of this video. 
And I do hope to see you all again tomorrow as we continue with our series and our specimen paper journey before the SEA exam 2021. Do have a good evening. Assalamu alaikum. Just wanted to remind you of my six week SEA math crash course that takes place or begins on the 26th of April. And the deadline for registration is the 23rd of April, Friday the 23rd. So please give me a call before then or a text or a WhatsApp message at 392-5296. And also don't forget to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel at C Results Academy and to follow us on Instagram and Facebook.